Greetings folks, here we have the little Atomasi Penguin. This is an interesting little twin tractor, 750mm uh, wingspan acrobatic FPV plane, brought to you by the same people that produce the swordfish and the killer whale and the dolphins. So they're interesting and really nicely designed models. In this video I'm just going to be flying it and uh, see how it performs, see how the onboard footage looks and all that sort of stuff. This is the return to home version so it has the F405 Navi flight control board in here, the same one that I had on the, on the swordfish, quite a capable flight control board. Uh, it does come pre-set up with iNav but uh, I never trust anyone else's iNav setup so I've uh, flashed it to the latest 6.1.1 and um, done my own setup. I'll do another complete video about setting it up for iNav um, and uh, improving the, the, the PIDs and the rates and all that sort of stuff. I don't think it was set up very well to start off with. It may have flown, I don't know, but uh, I just don't trust it. Um, anyway, so started afresh. I have just uh, analog FPV set up on the top there. Um, it comes with a couple of different uh, battery bay covers. Uh, I'll show you the other one. It comes with a couple of different noses. I've just got the sort of the blank nose on at the moment, but there is a really nice plastic nose that has a, a pretty clever little mount. I'll show you that again in another video. But for this one, analog FPV, bit of onboard footage. We'll just see how it flies. Twin props, they are 2004 2400 kV motors uh, with 6x2.4 props. And the way the ESCs are programmed, uh, the props are rotating out at the top. The BL Heli ESC, so you can reverse the direction just in BL Heli, heli Suite if you want to. Uh, but yeah, I've just mounted the props so that they do rotate out at the top. I have an 18650 4S battery in there. Fits in there beautifully, doesn't have to go right up to the nose. Uh, balances on the CG points there. Oh, we have some navigation lights there too. My flying weight at the moment is 760 grams. So now it is time to go for a fly. Okay, we're set up and ready to go. I'm just going to do a line of sight flight first and uh, then we'll have a look through the goggles and see how it goes on FPV. Arming. Find out where the wind is. Starting off in acro mode. Very easy takeoff. Flying very smoothly. I've tamed down the rates from what the stock throws were. I've put the uh, push rods into the middle holes on the servo arms rather than out on the end like they were. They, the throws were just way too big. Uh, so this is just flying very smoothly at the moment, very nicely. Just get used to it. Look at that. So that's half throttle. Ramp it up a bit. Nice little wind to the motors. This, this is very nice. All right, so acro is working okay. Return to launch, that's all I need to know really, and then I can, uh, there we go, swinging around, coming back to us, you can't see it of course, you might see it on the FPV if I remember to put that on. All behaving the way it should. See, I've got a safe home point out there, so that's just doing it perfectly. All right. Let's see how it works on FPV. Coming in nice and slowly. It does fly, fly very nicely in slow mode. <laughs> Look at that. Beautiful. Excellent. All right. So, so far, so good. All right. Ready to go again on FPV. Uh, what was I going to say? The receiver I'm using is a uh, Beta FPV light tower, the tiny little um, uh, onboard antenna ELRS and Radio Master Zorro ELRS. Let's go again. Throttle Throttle active. Takes off so easily. 
as is always the case with the uh, twin tractors. Okay, and we've got a few lines in the FPV, but not too bad. Uh, so what have we got? Throttle percentage 30%, about three, it's flight about five amps. Uh, speed 50, 60 kilometers an hour. Pretty nice. Don't do manual, do cruise, cruise mode. mode. Nice and smooth. Six amps. Going well on the FPV isn't too brilliant. What's going on there? Cruising along about five or six amps. Come on, click in. I think my little uh, analog DVR, uh, my uh, little VTX isn't working too well. It's a bit dodgy for some reason. I need to swap that out. But anyway, let's uh, fly in close. Uh, that'll be okay. A uh, little bit of wind, it's flying sort of into the wind at the moment and doing a really nice job. But uh, it's a yeah, beautiful little plane so far. It's meant to be really acrobatic, so I suppose we should try some uh, rolls and loops. Looking better now. Antenna was a bit loose maybe, there we go. So, we're going well. It is, seems to be very stable. And smooth. <clears throat> cruise, mode. cruise mode. Got my throttle, cruise throttle set at about, uh, what is it, 1350, I think, just so it doesn't suck too much current when it's cruising around that's doing about five or six amps so pretty slow roll rate there uh, the way i've set it up come on right. antennas In manual mode now, faster roll rate, could set it up to be more um, uh, acrobatic than I've got it at the moment I think, which is the way, probably the way they had it set up initially. I'm flying in manual mode quite well now. Anyway, back to acro. <coughs> so, what can I say? It's very well behaved, flying nicely, nice little FPV platform really, compact size, could set it up to be quite hot doggy, which is kind of what it's designed for I think, uh, inspired by uh, wing, wingsuit design they say, uh, it's just because of the shape of it I suppose, um, but meant to be a uh, sort of an acrobatic, close-in, whipping around, shooting gap sort of plane. Uh, and well, I've set it up to be nice and smooth and easy flying, really. Um, so you could set it up to be more aggressive if you wanted to, but yeah, it's going really well. Feels great to fly. The board is rotated 180 degree in your. Um, so you have to remember to put that into the CLI angle mode, flying angle very, mode. very nicely in angle mode. Back to acro. Cruise around on, probably cruise around on three amps pretty easily. Have a nice long flight time or uh, five, six amps and uh, do a bit of hot dogging. Fly a bit faster, 80 kilometres an hour. I don't want to 
stress my battery too much. 70, 80, becomes a, well not a super fast, but a faster a little hot doggy plane. <laughs> I quite like it really. All right, I might put uh, the run cam thumb on, on the other battery hatch uh, cover. Get some good onboard footage. But uh, FPV flying very nicely. Quite like it. Nice flared landing. Oh, very good indeed. I like it. All right, I'm going to swap over to the run cam thumb on the other battery bay cover. I will eventually put the uh, HD in the little nose thingo. So I'm just going to power the run cam thumb from a little servo um, pin set. It'll just give it 5 volts, which is what we need. It's plugged in there. Uh, I have to mention a couple of negatives I found with the uh, bit of quality control putting it together. The little USB board from the flight control board was stuck over the hole that the servo wire has to pass through from the wing so that's just a bit of a um, dumb assembly. The flight control board was a little bit twisted to one side too so it wasn't put on straight so that's just you know whoever's assembling it isn't paying attention to detail or not thinking about what they're doing. But anyway uh, the end result is uh, a wonderful little plane so far. Let's do a bit of HD onboard footage. I'll do a little bit of stabilised stuff too, maybe. We'll see. Just leaps out of your hand, no problems. I'm very tempted to keep flying it slowly for some reason. Just because I love flying planes slowly, but uh, it's nice and smooth and uh, And you're quite uh, comfortable flying it slowly, is what I'm thinking, what I'm trying to say, I guess. It's no drama. I've got a pretty slow roll rate at the moment. A uh, pretty tight little loop, that's nice because of the short um, elevator to CG distance, I guess. Bit of inverted, yeah, cool. Does everything well. It's, uh, yeah, it's just an easy to fly, nippy little um, compact size FPV platform. I like it. And the, the twin tractor setup is, is always uh, wonderful to fly, nice and stable, easy to take off. It's a cool little plane. Nice and quiet too, so it's not going to annoy the neighbours. All the wildlife. A bit small to be a good line of sight flyer, unless you're staying in close like this, but um, it's fun. Look at that, nice and slow. <laughs> This is a fun little plane. It's just a, a good little size with a decent amount of um, surface area, wing area. Very well behaved. I feel like I could even go out and visit that island, but uh, I won't. Probably a bit nippy for a beginner, I think. You wouldn't, and uh, you can't sort of just use it out of the box with the flight control board. I don't think it's set up properly. Uh, you need to set up your own modes, your own OSD, um, your own rates, and all that sort of stuff. Uh, but yeah, so that's that's very good. What I'll do in the next video is show you how I set up iNav, and I'll put uh, 
I'll mount the video transmitter in the nose and all that sort of stuff. So, whee! Nice landing. Can handle a cartwheel landing. So there you go. So there we go, the Atom RC Penguin, another ripper model from Atom RC. They really do think outside the square uh, and come up with some really nice results. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.